In this corner is the legendary Audio-Technica AT2020. This is one of the most popular microphones used for YouTube videos. It is a medium diaphragm condenser microphone and therefore requires phantom power. The AT2020 has a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and a price tag of $100. And in this corner we have the Audio-Technica ATR3350IS, a clip-on lavalier mic. It is an omnidirectional condenser microphone and requires a battery. It also requires a good amount of gain to function properly. It has a frequency response of 50 Hz to 18 kHz and a price tag of $30. Which style of microphone will prevail? Studio condenser versus lavalier condenser. Audio Technica versus Audio Technica. Let's start! The Mic War. In this battle, we have raw samples and processed samples. The raw samples are untouched except for minor volume adjustments. The processed samples use a gate, deesser, EQ, compressor, and limiter, all basic things you would use on any professional vocal sound. This is the Audio-Technica AT2020 from around six inches away, six inches away from our medium diaphragm condenser microphone. I can even move back further and now I am around one foot away one foot away from the Audio-Technica AT2020 just to get an idea of what it would sound like if you were very far away let's move back in now so now we're back to around five to six inches away from the Audio-Technica AT2020 medium diaphragm condenser microphone this is the Audio-Technica ATR3350 omnidirectional condenser lavalier microphone i'm speaking directly out directly in front of me if i turn my head to the left side and speak that is what it sounds like if i turn my head to the right side and speak then that is what that sounds like with this microphone attached to my left lapel i can look straight up with your head pointed completely away from the microphone and then look straight down so you're talking directly into the capsule to get an idea of how this microphone sounds the audio technica ATR3350IS. This is the Audio Technica AT2020 from around six inches away, six inches away from our medium diaphragm condenser microphone. I can even move back further. And now I am around one foot away, one foot away from the Audio Technica AT2020. Let's move back in now. So now we're back to around five to six inches away from the Audio Technica AT2020 medium diaphragm condenser microphone. This is the Audio-Technica ATR3350 omnidirectional condenser lavalier microphone. I'm speaking directly out, directly in front of me. If I turn my head to the left side and speak, that is what it sounds like. If I turn my head to the right side and speak, then that is what that sounds like. With this microphone attached to my left lapel, I can look straight up with your head pointed completely away from the microphone, and then look straight down, so you're talking directly into the capsule, to get an idea of how this microphone sounds, the Audio-Technica ATR3350IS. This is the Audio-Technica AT2020 from around two to three inches away, two to three inches away from our medium diaphragm condenser microphone. I can even come in closer now. So now we are around one inch away, very, very close to this microphone to get an idea of the proximity effect. Do you like the effect or do you not? Let's move back out now, two to three inches away. Listen to the sound of the voice. Is this the sort of sound you want from your microphone for your YouTube video, your podcast, or other projects? Again, the Audio-Technica AT2020 from around two to three inches away. This is the Audio-Technica ATR3350. Listen to the sound of the microphone. Is it clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you would want for a YouTube video, a podcast, an interview, or some such project? The Audio-Technica ATR3350 lavalier microphone. This is the Audio-Technica AT2020 from around two to three inches away. I can even come in closer now. So now we are around one inch away, very, very close to this microphone to get an idea of the proximity effect. Let's move back out now. 
Again, the Audio Technica AT2020 from around two to three inches away. This is the Audio Technica ATR3350. Listen to the sound of the microphone. Is it clear? Is it articulate? Is this the sort of sound you would want for a YouTube video, a podcast, an interview, or some such project? The Audio Technica ATR3350 lavalier microphone. Back in 